Unseen blade is the deadliest. Yo guys, this is the first placement game on one of my master tier accounts in Split 3. We played against Yone and I went Conqueror with triple haste because the items got nerfed and they have a lot less haste. I also went Ignite and Flash with Nimbus because Nimbus got buffed. And we went full damage with Voltaic, Opportunity, Grudge, Axiom and Serpents just to see how it would go. Just a bunch of damage. So yeah, let's see how this game went. So something to note against Yone in the new patch is Lethal Tempo is back. So that means that he can actually win a lot easier in 1v1, uh, especially early on if you take longer trades. You're going to lose, so it's even more important to not push the wave. Um, especially if you push and the wave ends up on his side, then he can run you down very easily or easier than last patch because he has Lethal Tempo. So I'm very, very careful with the wave, as you can see. I'm just going for the very, very last hits. And we want to get our first recall or level 6. And at that point, it gets a lot easier. You can also go Electrocute in this matchup. And it's pretty good if you go full damage, I would say. Because it's quite easy to burst Yone in a lot of his positions. Um, and I'll link a guide of Zed versus Yone in the description if you want a more in-depth uh, ex explanation of how to do that. But yeah, the early game is sort of just like this, where you, you play safe, you don't want to fight too much, you're just trying to get the farm, get the XP, and get to level 6. I want to show you guys some movement that works against Yasuo or Yone Q when they're in melee range, and a way to dodge. So, right here I know I have to get hit, which is fine. I walk up, I auto E, and then he's going to use W so I can just keep moving. And like that, you just keep moving around them, and then you auto in between your movement around the enemy character. So, yeah. And a lot of the time, if you just keep walking, they'll miss their Q because it's just harder to hit if you keep moving like that. So now I have 650 gold, but I want 875, so I'm staying. But then I get a bit frustrated, so I want to combo him here. I full combo, and then I realize what happened to my damage. He actually had bone plating if you didn't catch it. So I saw it after, and I'm like, oh, okay, because his bone plating is on cooldown now. Then, yeah, I kind of messed up because I used my entire combo in it. And right here, I want to see if he uses his Q3, and then I can use my Qs like that. So you W, Q straight into where he lands, and then the Qs will always hit. That's something from my Yone guide as well. So I want to show you guys one of the most important, if not the most important, Z level up timer, uh, which is 5 to 6. Right here, you can see the XP bar right next to my passive ability at the bottom. So I use my W, E, Q, and then I realize I'm 1 CS off. And that's how you want to do it. You level up, and I could ult him. But I took a bit too long to level up, and the CS survived a little bit too long, and he had a Q, so I didn't want to. But in a lot of games, you're going to be able to kill people if you abuse that level up timer um, more often than not. And now I'm able to get him a lower bunch, but I don't want to ult him, because the better way to play is to poke them. So, especially in split 3, where we have less damage, it means you just have to have more poke combos before you all in. Just like right here, we Q, we walk away from his Q3, and just auto E. Playing it nice and slow, and that's how you want to do it until you are really, really super confident that you can kill them. Otherwise, you'll mess up like I kind of do right here. I'll just show you. So, I walk up, and I place W backwards, but then I should just QW, and then take it slower. Then I ult, and he ults me, and I almost die. Nami shows up as well, and I lost all of my HP. So that's what's going to happen if you're not patient enough, and if you don't wait enough, you don't poke them enough before you all in, etc. This kind of situation can happen. But then right here, a way you can play against Yone is you hide in fog. And then when he uses his Q3 on the wave, it's going to go into the wave. So once he's in that animation, you know, you can kill him. And it's pretty important to keep that in mind against champs like Yone or Silas that go into the wave when they're clearing it so that you can maybe kill them. So I get lucky abusing that a bit. Now I have Voltaic and I want to play it quite aggressively because I'm fed and I'm not scared. And a way to combo the Yone is you can WE. Um, if I walk up, WE, and then as soon as he uses his E1, I can just do a QW straight on where he is. And a lot of the time, your spells will hit because he's kind of locked into position. Uh, well, not locked, but when he uses his E1, he jumps a bit, and it's a bit of a lock. So you can kind of just use your spells straight away if you have a W out already. And then I just flashed on him to finish him off. Yone ends up getting pushed because I recalled and I have no ult. And he goes to contest my team. He gets kind of one-shot. I just want to KS. 
Micaeus, and then when I see Amumu, I'm kind of scared because I'm thinking he has ult. That's why I'm standing like really far away. But then, you know, he gets a grub and I kind of feel bad. But either way, we just ult on Tanami and kill him as well. Right at the end there, if you want to make sure you get kills or you want to get the KS, make sure you don't use your Q and you just use autos and E's um, like they're on the Nami. So I time it with my death mark. Just a little tip for KSing. So I'm going to show you the importance of keeping a general awareness of the map. So right here, I'm going for the blue buff. And I shouldn't really be topside because I don't want to match Camille. But I noticed Nami on the ward is walking away from Kaiser. So I have some time to just WW ult, hit him with Voltaic auto attack, and then use all of my combo on him to kill him. I waste my ignites, but it's fine. And we get the kill. But yeah, if I didn't do that, then I wouldn't get the free kill. Because now I can just recall and then walk bot lane and catch all the minions because Yon is pushing now, which is too late. As I'm coming back to lane, I'm thinking about letting Yon go because I don't have my ult. I'm thinking Gragas probably doesn't deal damage. Then he does, so I just WW auto E and get another freebie. So what I want to show you guys right here is your main source of income in the mid game, which is going to be from the side lane towers. Right here, I don't have teleport, which is unfortunate, but I don't actually want to teleport away. I'm thinking to recall, but then I realized that my team is fighting, so I opt to hit the towers. Now, whether the fight is won or lost is irrelevant because I'm committing to this. I have, you know, 1400 gold or so. So I'm just pinging the Yon teleport and I keep hitting the tower. I take the next wave and then I make sure I look to see Camille is there. Everyone is there. So I'm going to hit the tower as well right here. And something to note is that you do kind of need at least two grubs, I would say, for this to be decently viable. If you have no grubs, this is not as good. So we just stay and we keep pushing. My whole team died like noobs, which is fine. That's life. And we take all of these minions and the tower. So I had 1400 gold at the beginning of the towers. Now I have 2800. So we're pretty fed. We got another 1300, 1400 gold just there. Right here, we're about to go for Nami as some of my other team is fighting top lane and this way we get a good flank so it's decent to do that but i need to be careful since the mumu is kind of strong i missed my first e which is really troll and it threw me off really hard so i'm thinking maybe i should just ult camille which is a big mistake because she actually has iceborne and she's really really tanky which basically gets me killed even though i almost kill her what i should do is just threaten the kaisa and the amumu on the other side and maybe even just go all in there because I have full damage. You know, I'm pretty fed, but I kind of just threw all my damage on the tank. So we actually end up being decently far behind. And I just go bot thinking the enemy is going to take Baron. And they kind of troll. I'm like, what the heck? Why is Amumu here? <laughs> I place a W in a bush and then I run the other way. Take the W, ult the own, flash from the Amumu sun to get one kill back. And then Kaiser's here as well. So I'm just hoping my team's on Baron, which they are. Camille is also bought, so literally five people. And we get a free Baron from that. But a little trick that I did there is I use my W in the bush and then I run the other way. So that's something you can do as Zed in general. Like in a lot of ways where you get ganked, you place the W and then you just run the other way to make the enemy force or force the enemy to choose between you or your shadow. And you wait until the very last second and you make a decision on whether you want to take your shadow or not. So now I'm top lane, I push a wave, and then I realize that we can't really contest the dragon that's coming up. So I opt to hit the tower instead and think that if anyone comes, I'm going to try and kill them. And we're going to do the same thing that we did uh, just like, I don't know, five, six minutes ago where we took two towers in the bot lane. Because we kind of just want to get gold. My team tries to contest anyways and they all die, which is really bad. But there's nothing I can really do about that. We just focus on getting these towers and getting the gold. And a good way to check if your team is behind in the mid to late game is just press tab and compare the levels um, of your team compared to the enemy uh, opponents. And you can kind of see, well, yeah, my team's kind of behind, but it's fine. So we get two towers, which is a bunch of gold, another 1400 again. And we finish off the Axiom Arc and buy another Dirk, I think. Just getting as much damage as we can. And now if we defend, maybe there's a chance that we can win because I have a bunch of damage. A good way to play when you're behind is try to pick off the enemy, um, the enemy's weakest member in the side lane. So I shove top and then Yon comes top. We just combo him straight on his Q3. And also you can note that combo there. I open with my W, Q and E. And then I ult and I do that again. So don't be afraid to use your spells quickly. And uh, before your ult I mean. So that you can ult and then use another iteration because the CDs are quite low in the late game. 
And then I start pinging for my team to come bot because I already know that the enemies will probably try to dive him. Uh, Bard does a really good ult which saves the Atrox and we're able to kill Amumu before he dies. And then I troll by going in really, really aggressively when Kaiser was right there. And then Bard saves us again because he stunned them as I get uh, dove on by the Camille. And he kind of carried that fight really hard and I'm thinking we can actually maybe win this game because, you know, they haven't got soul yet. Maybe we can deny soul or something. Let's see how it goes. So I want to focus on Yon right here. I see him taking the wave and I can think about his path. He's either going to take the next wave and if he doesn't, then, you know, he's going to appear here. It's quite, um, maybe not for certain, but there's a pretty good chance that he would go there to try and get to his team instead of like the super safe way. And now I'm pinging my team to kind of just come and maybe we 5v4. But I also know I don't have ult, so no fight ends up happening here. And now the enemies go for the soul. I start pinging my team to quickly come Baron because the only way we can probably win this game is if we get Baron and we trade it for soul because we're not fighting the dragon. We're way too far away. And we actually deal a, quite a bit of damage. So I'm thinking, oh, we're actually going to get the Baron here. But maybe we'll just all die after. And I'm just pinging them back. Realize I'm on vision and the Nami ult's going to hit me. So I W. But then Kaiser W hits me and I'm like, ah, this is really bad. As you see. And... He ults, so I W ult, I auto, and then I take my W because I have ult take, and I need as much damage as I can to make sure I kill her. And then right there, W to check for vision of the Yone, and we walk up. And something you need to do when you're low is be really careful on the outskirts of the fight, just going in when you know you're going to get the opportunity to kill people. And we actually end up acing them. And I'm thinking about recalling because maybe like it's very unlikely we'll be able to end because Kais is going to be up in 25 seconds. But then, thinking about it again, we do have Baron. And when you have Baron and some Grubs, you can definitely push a lot really fast and likely end games. So if I forward it a bit, forward it a tiny bit more. We W ult the Kaiser again and we use spells, just trying to force him away. And now you just go in and hit the Nexus. And we end up ending the game. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was useful and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. In